Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series video. This video is going to be a lab um, showing you uh, the first login to the virtual server. So it's going to be the virtual server that I created in the last lab. So I'm going to show you how to log in using SSH and uh, I'm also going to show you how to use YUM to update the server and also install uh, MySQL and an HTTP server. Okay, well here I am back in my dashboard, so um, I can now see that I've got one device there. So I'm going to click view all to see my devices. Um, there we go, there's the uh, the device on my resource list, so I'm going to just click in there again to uh, to bring up the details. Click down here. Okay, and, and as you can see, these, these, these are my device details here. So what the first thing that I need is the IP address of the server. So you can see that here, so I'm going to just um, just copy that and I'm going to bring up a, a terminal so I'm going to SSH this server so SSH and I'm going to log in as user root so root at and paste in that IP address okay now it's going to ask me for the root password so I get that from um, I get that from the password screen so I just click over to there okay and then the password is obviously obfuscated here so if I click into there, then I can go and copy that as well. Paste that in, and there we go. So the um, so the um, so I've actually logged into there. So I did actually try and log in there um, earlier, uh, which is why it's showing a, a failed login attempt. But uh, um, but there you go. I'm logged into the server. Now the first thing that you might want to do is is actually um, update the server. So you update the server through yum, so yum update. So this just brings the uh, the server up to the, you know, up, to, up with the very latest patches, etc. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes to that. So you can see exactly what it's going to update. So I'm going to say yes. And uh, it's just going to go away and do those updates for me. And again, this is a good habit to get into. Um, it may well be something you can, uh, well, it is something you can uh, script as, as you actually update the machine. So, um, so I'll show you how to do that in a later lab. We'll just let that go through. It should take a couple of minutes. Okay, so that's completed. I paused the video for a little while there. Um, it probably took about two and a half minutes to, to run all of those updates. Um, and I'm, I'm sure you didn't really want to uh, watch a screen with those going through, so that's, that's why I paused it. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to install MySQL, um, just as an example. So first of all, let's clear the screen. So to install MySQL, we simply type yum install MySQL. Okay, we just, we just verify that. Again, this will just take a a few moments to actually download and install, um, but in general you, you get the idea. You just use yum to uh, to actually install these packages, and then, um, as you would with any other Unix uh, Linux system, um, you can then just manipulate it. So that's, so that's all done. And as another example, um, let's try yum install httpd. So there we go. Just installing the web server on there as well. So again, this just take a, a short while to complete. Okay, and now we have uh, both uh, MySQL and an HTTP server installed on there. So that's about it for, for logging in um, for this particular server. As I said, I don't really want to keep this server up and running. Um, and obviously, as well, I've, um, I've exposed my IP address and also my root username and password on film. So obviously that's a quite a big security risk. You obviously want to keep those things to yourself. Um, what I'm actually going to do now is, is cancel this machine. Um, when I say cancel, I mean I'm actually going to delete it so that it's no longer on my account. So the way I do that, I'll go back to my device list. And um, what I can then do is click the action button. And uh, you can do various things from this actions button. So if I wanted to reboot the server or power it on and off, then I can do that there as well. You can also rename it, etc. I can do some upgrades and things like that. What I actually want to do is cancel the device. Um, so if I click cancel, um, I get this screen up next. So the other thing that I just need to do 
is make sure that um, as a, there's a there's a cancel optional cancellation here. So basically, these are, these uh, items will not be cancelled unless cancel with devices checked. So what I want to do is just make sure that I cancel all these so that I you know don't don't get any billing for anything. Um, so let's just make sure these are all checked. And again, this is just to make sure you don't actually cancel anything by by mistake. Um, and uh, yeah, just check everything there is is cancelled. And all I can then do um, is cancel. So I'm getting a, an immediate cancel with no refunds. I'm just going to make this a, a little bit bigger. Um, that's not. And uh, I'm just going to click. See if I can make that smaller again. And I'm just going to click continue. So I'm going to acknowledge that uh, I may lose any data. So obviously I'm losing whatever's on there. And then finally I'll just click cancel device. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, cancelling a device. And what you'll probably also get um, is an email, um, which um, again, it uh, basically raises a case, a support case, and uh, saying it's closed. So basically um, what the, uh, the case is, uh, is a server cancellation. So again, it's just written confirmation that you've actually cancelled this server. So, um, so that's something else to look at as well. Okay, great. So that's it for this lab. Um, I hope you've learned lots about how to uh, create a virtual server and also how to log into your virtual server. Now, if you've been following the series, it would be great to get some feedback from you. If you do have any feedback, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments section. And I hope you're also going to uh, subscribe to this channel.